Our graduation project is actually two projects in one. The first one consists of optimizing TMCP parameters in order to reach both a stronger and harder plain low carbon steel. The second one was to apply an entirely new concept, never implemented before in any industry in the world, named Shear Enhanced Trolling. In TMCP, in order to increase the yield strength and hardness simultaneously, grain refinement was the best option. Bichet Steel produced steel of average grain size of 20 to 50 micrometers. The group has met with him and he wanted to decrease the grain size to 5 microns. The group has finally reached a grain size of 4.8 microns after its experimentation. In the workshop, it was decided to carry out the rolling process for 3, 5 and 7 passes per specimen. Temperature was controlled as much as possible to minimize the heat dissipation. Microstructural analysis and tensile testing were carried out on all specimens. The grain size for 3 passes has decreased by 32%, 5 passes by 52% and 7 passes by 61%. The yield strength for 3 passes has increased by 9%, 5 passes by 40% and 7 passes by 65%. In other words, the more the number of passes at high temperatures above the austenitic line in the iron carbon phase diagram, the smaller the grain size and the stronger the material is. These results are truly groundbreaking, as they are entirely different from steel rolled at room temperature. At room temperature, the results should be reversed. The smaller the number of passes, the stronger the material is due to higher strain hardening. Even professors expected different results. This is considered to be the most important discovery of our thesis project. Thermomechanical coupling, or simply the interaction of temperature and mechanical variables, has not been certainly recognized or documented scientifically in the rolling of steel before. The group is truly encouraged and excited to go a couple of steps further and publish the results internationally and even patent its work. Moving on to the shear enhanced rolling process, or SER. This is an entirely new process that has not been recorded before. Its main aim is to produce a refined and uniform microstructure. The simplicity of the ECAP process inspired us to develop a similar one, but by using rolling. This led us to the following conceptual design, utilizing the effect of relative velocities to give us the same effect. However, this design seemed implausible, as it appeared to be hard to assemble and to implement. We moved on to another design that aimed to utilize the horizontal shear effect resulting from transverse shear and bending. This shearing effect produces shearing stress in the middle of the workpiece, while the rolling shears the surface. This was achieved by having a normal rolling process, but with a free-to-rotate roller in between that rises to induce the bending and subsequently induce shear. The shearing effect was expected to produce a more uniform stress distribution across the thickness of the workpiece. This can be seen in the von Mises stress. This acts as a proof of concept. The beauty of this concept lies in its simplicity. Merging it with our TMCP procedure, we could achieve a more refined and uniform structure.